Hello YouTube, this is the Creative Duelist here, and I'm back with another Creative Discussions. Now today I'm here to talk about something, an interesting topic. Um, I watched a video, I think it was Twiz, um, quite one of the bigger YouTubers. Uh, I like Twiz, really good um, content creator. <clears throat> he made a video, this was like a while ago, and um, it was about like block formats, so like what what Yu-Gi-Oh should, like if Yu-Gi-Oh should have block formats and this is just my opinion, my two cents on what I think of Yu-Gi-Oh as of now and you know what could you know possibly make Yu-Gi-Oh even more better probably in the future but this is just my opinion of course feel free to you know agree or disagree it's fine I'd like to hear any of your opinions so I'm going to say a couple of things right now I'm going to be mad honest with you folks Yu-Gi-Oh is fucking boring now i don't find Yu-Gi-Oh as interesting as i once did now don't get me wrong i still like Yu-Gi-Oh. i still play it i like i still got my fun decks with me i still got my, my spell books i still got my cosmos i would never i'd never get rid of my cosmos for all the gold in the world i still i'm still a content creator i still like Yu-Gi-Oh. i still love doing you know my profiles i still love i still love talking to you folks you know it, it just happens at times it's not something that's gonna you know, it's not going to make me quit or anything. That's never. That's not going to happen. You know, there are times where Yu-Gi-Oh does become stale. It happens to a lot of players. But um, it's just the current things. You know, currently in terms of like, you know, current Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, we've got, uh, you know, the, you know the current situation. We've got lots of hand traps. We've got, we've got, you know, answers. The you know, answers to hand traps. We've got like many other decks, meta decks, of course. You know, you got the you know the thunder the thunder dragon matchup. Uh, you got dangers, of course, and you've got other. Um, you got sky strikers still as well. But you know, they ain't the problem. You know, meta's meta. There's meta in everything. There's meta in fighting games. Excuse me. There's meta in fighting games. There's meta in tennis. You know, sports. There's meta in bowling as well. There's a like strict like competitive bowling. There's a way where you can throw the ball, bowling ball and always get a strike um, there's meta in a lot of things but uh, I digress so I'm gonna quickly talk about hand traps so I know I'm not trying to beat a dead horse or anything but I really don't like the whole aspects of the whole hand trap uh, situation where we have to stuff so many hand traps into our decks to have answers to our opponents play it's like Yu-Gi-Oh as of now it's just become hand trap city like I've never like when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh I never thought of playing so many hand traps in my deck you know we had like the mediocre hand traps of course you know we had like Gauze we had Battle Fader you know we had Tragodia like or we had like Vela you know when Vela was released of course when we had Vela like Vela wasn't Vela was annoying but it wasn't too bad back then but like now you know like hand traps I can understand the reasoning as to why we have to play hand traps because if we don't have hand traps our opponent goes off Yu-Gi-Oh is really fast it's not slow whatsoever anymore you know you can be dead before you before you make it to even turn five um, in Yu-Gi-Oh but uh, that's just my two piece in terms of hand traps and the way I just the way I feel about Yu-Gi-Oh now it's you know I just feel like everything is just so disruptive you know I you know just it's not fun per se anymore like I just don't like the whole aspect of you know my decks getting my decks getting negged even if I play at a top you know you know a top tier level or competitive le level I have to prepare for those things but of course so I've been looking back a lot in terms of like in the past and I've been looking at a lot of decks that I used to play and I wanted to play them so badly but the reasons why I can't play them anymore is because they're so garbage and you know, I get it you know outdated power creep and it's not even just that it's like like ash blossom um, there's just so many cards that fuck over decks it's like you, you try playing ice barriers in 2019 you know you're not gonna get bar it's like you can't play any of these decks no more they're just they're just not you know they're in the wrong format now they're too old so you know this is why I kind of 
I'm kind of like finding things in Yu-Gi-Oh quite boring. You know, like with Magic the Gathering, they kind of appreciate their players a little more. I know Magic the Gathering has its own bad apples in its basket, but of course, at least they have structured formats. They have block formats, I believe it's called. And I, in fact, I do play Magic the Gathering. I used to. I've still got a deck. It's my uh, Agro Green. I just like the fact where I can fuck my opponent over with so many forests and all my creatures gain a gain a gain a power and toughness depending on how many forests I have and just hex proof and protection. I like that style of deck. It's very powerful and potent. But yeah, that's <laughs> my Magic Gathering deck. But you know, it's 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 like with Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't just build a deck anymore. Like with old decks that I'd love and just play them again, you know, I can't take it to not even locals because it, it just get crashed. It'll get crushed. It's like with Magic the Gathering, it's like, you know, there's there, there could be like one deck, you know, back probably back three years ago that was really good, but obviously you can't play it now. But but because of how Magic the Gathering is with block formats, you know, they have different formats where you're it with its own set ban list, you're allowed to play certain like a certain card uh, you can play back in this format you can replay it it's kind of like you know how we got goat format but you know goat formats like a, you know a really strategic format where you know can't just can't just play heavy storm blindly but yes um that's that's besides the point of course i feel that you know the you know just in terms of how much cards we've got with in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know it's just expanding there's so many sets that we get that, that get released to us it just keeps expanding and i feel in my opinion that we should have some kind of block format because not everyone wants to play links you know links is fun in its own right you know it's cool to make a, a borolo dragon with some disgusting boss monsters that's very fun to do but you know, for some players, it's too much. I feel, I feel that we should have you know just block formats. We should all be able to. We should all have the option to play whatever deck we like. You know, go back, go back uh, a few or several formats ago, and you know play those kinds of decks. Like you know, there's, I bet there's people who who will want to play Pepe again. You know that broken deck. There's people who want to play some old, you know, old decks, you know, decks that were really fun to play when the f when the format was a lot more slower. It was a, uh, it was, it's caught, it was, you know, kind of grind gamey. You know, I like, I like back and forth duels. I don't like duels where, you know, my opponent or me completely get squashed, and it hasn't even been turn five or turn four yet, or even turn ten. It's like it's very rare for like having these fun duels anymore. And that's what I feel is kind of, in my opinion, just hurting my interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! And just how I feel. You know, I can't, you know, these, these decks that I love so much, I just can't embrace them anymore. Uh, but yes, folks, this is pretty much what I had to say uh, in terms of like block formats, in terms of how the current format is, you know. Like, I've got no, you know, I've got no hate towards these formats, it's whatever. You know, if, if anyone can play any deck they like. It's just, I wanted to talk about, you know, if... You know, if, if Konami could ever, like, just give us some kind of, our, our, you know, let us have our own kind of formats, like what Magic the Gathering do, you know, like, because people that play, like, like old decks, you know, I'm talking about OG Magic the Gathering, like, you know, expensive fucking cards, you got, like, Black Lotus, you know, these cards are, like, prices that are almost, like, you know, like, almost the prices of fucking houses, almost. You know, like, we're talking about really good expensive cards, like, you know, that just won't come off the market or won't get reprints. And, of course, you can just relive the fun days where the decks were so good and the format was just so fun. Uh, but, yes, folks, thank you all for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Comment down below. Feedback is always nice to hear. Tell me your thoughts down in the comment section. Of course, um, feedback is always nice to hear. Tell me your thoughts. You know, do you feel like you, you should have some kind of block? You know some kind of like a block format or whatever like its own like individual formats or do you think you're fine with Yu-Gi-Oh how it is that's totally fine you know I'd, I'd love to hear your opinions but yes folks it's Creative Joyce signing out of course uh, got debt profile coming out next week I just haven't been able to profile anything because I've been so tired and work is a drag sometimes so 
you know, I had this kind of boggling in my head, so I figured I wanted to just get it out there. But yes, folks, Chris Ulis signing out. Peace.